Break on the it's cookie. Doctors usually give conjoined twins about a 5% chance of actually being born alive and then a 2% chance of being alive past 24 hours. The fact that the girls are standing strong today is pretty incredible. Let's go. They have started to learn how to coordinate with their walking. Yay, Kelly Carter! Carter. Kelly and Carter are our daughters and they are Othalio and Shiopagus conjoined twins. The girl's body clashes together like two waves. A certain part is Callie's and the other part is Carter's. Good job, babies. They each have their own hearts, stomachs, upper extremities. When we get kind of towards the small intestine, the second part of it is where they start to share. We initially thought that separation surgery was the best way to go, but after they were born, they sat us down in a classroom and told us that the girls didn't need to be separated because they were completely healthy as they were, and separating them would essentially break apart two good things, making them have some serious complications with their health. Hey, girls. Doctors usually give conjoined twins about a 2% chance of being alive past 24 hours. We're just so pleased with their progress. Cow, cow, it's okay. You look cute on camera, Kelly. Cute Cow's baby. Ready. It has been over a year since we last filmed with Truly. Within a year, conjoined twins usually have a lot of medical challenges and a lot of other challenges that they have to face. But Callie and Carter have been doing exceptional. Callie and Carter found a new hideout. Hello. They're starting to coordinate how they move around the house. You got it, almost there. What are you two doing? Did you get up there? Callie has one leg and Carter has the other leg. Let's go in the room. Let's go pee. And they're just starting to talk a lot more and be able to communicate with us instead of each other. Oh, big hugs. Due to COVID-19, the girls haven't been able to go to school for their physical therapy, so I've been doing physical therapy here at home. Right now we're doing Callie and Carter's walking exercises and stretches. The girls don't know how to exactly walk just quite yet, but they start to move their feet and with a little bit of help, they're able to hold onto the couch and flip around the house. First one there gets cookie. Conjoined twins like Callie and Carter need to work on their coordination at an early age to make it extremely helpful for them to be able to walk in the future. They're able to stand up on their own two feet. What, Callie? Yes. Initially, we thought Callie and Carter were going to start walking at the age of four, and no one really knows when they're going to walk. It's all on their own time and how much they are willing to work with each other. Callie and Carter have both separate personalities. Callie is more laid back and she likes to watch YouTube all day where Carter likes to build and be able to color with things. Carter usually tends to lead the way, but they actually work pretty good together now that they are older. You read her A. A. I homeschool the girls every Tuesday and Thursday. Mommy. Nick and I have been homeschooling the girls for a couple of months now due to the lockdown. We're mainly working on their C's, trying to get them to be able to write their name for the next school year. I don't believe the girls think that they are different from their siblings. Mommy. Stop. Okay. Uh, down. Show me. They go through the house, they play around, they crawl, and they jump around. Okay, come here. And I don't think it limits them. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. They value each other's lives now because they're both depend on it. High fives. Good job. High five. Yeah. You got it. Go see Micah. The girls are not on track for their age group. They are currently three years old and they are about 24 months of language right at the moment. Due to their bilateral hearing loss, language is a little bit harder for them to be able to pick up. Callie and Carter's learning has been a lot better since they've started school. What color is this? Good job. I feel that their language skills have definitely become a lot better. Big kisses. Mm, big sorry kisses. The girls get along with their siblings very well. 
girls adore Jason and they adore Micah. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna get tickles. <laughs> and dropped. I think the girls watching Jason and trying to mimic the things that he does has improved a lot since they started going to school. They understand that people do things differently, but they still try their best to do it like them. We didn't think that we were going to leave the hospital with babies, let alone two babies that were stuck together. So we are absolutely amazed with how they are progressing. I just hope the girls have a wonderful life, even though they are faced with a bunch of challenges. Aww, hugs. They are going to be best friends for the rest of their life.